Good morning everyone, uh, I am Dr. Suhas, I am the consultant oncosurgeon in uh, Narayana Multi Specialty Hospital. Today we are discussing about breast cancer in view of the fact that uh, uh, this month is considered as a breast cancer awareness month. So India being one of the countries with the highest incidence of uh, cancer breast and uh, despite the mortalities uh, is still high. Uh, largely due to the fact that uh, we have uh, diagnosis uh, which is uh, delayed mainly because of the social stigma, public unawareness, doctor un unawareness, which has led to the fact that we are diagnosing disease at uh, very later stages. Uh, in advanced countries like US and UK where the disease is diagnosed in uh, the first stage uh, more often than not, we still have patients who come with uh, skin ulceration, fungating mass, uh, mainly due to the negligence and the uh, the problems with uh, late uh, early diagnosis. So, what is our motto in this uh, month is to make sure that the uh, diagnosis is done early and uh, we have an option of cure in each of these patients. Regarding the fact that the diagnosis is very simple, uh, the patient presents to us with a lump uh, in the breast or a discharge in the nipple which is mostly um, uh, a bloody discharge and the initial diagnosis is with a mammogram and an ultrasound breast which will tell us whether it looks like a cancer or not and once the suspicion is there we will do a biopsy from the specimen which will confirm the diagnosis following the diagnosis uh, the next step in all the patients is to ensure that the disease has not spread elsewhere. So we'll do either with the CT scan or whenever available we'll do what is called as whole body PET scan which will tell us whether the disease has spread elsewhere. So the staging, the initial staging is the fact that uh, uh, the whether the breast uh, disease is limited to the breast or it has gone to the axilla or what you call as armpits or it has spread elsewhere in the body. So once it has spread elsewhere, in, especially in severe breast, we consider it as stage 4 disease and the curability chances are very less in a stage 4 disease. Uh, whereas if it is uh, limited to the breast or into the axilla, the cure chances depends on the stage of the disease. So in these patients in whom there is no uh, spread of the disease elsewhere, let us say into elsewhere like in the lungs or in the liver, the treatment options include the surgery, chemotherapy and radiation. So in locally advanced care patients where the involvement is quite big, so we tend to offer chemotherapy first and then operate the patients. Whereas in early patients, early stages, the first choice of treatment will be uh, the surgery. So surgery uh, previously included removal of the entire breast along with the nodes in the axilla but in, in patients where the early disease is there we can offer them breast conservation. So by breast conservation what we mean is uh, the only a part of the breast which has the lump or which has the cancer is removed along with the axilla uh, nodes. So this ensures that the uh, breast is preserved uh, and uh, cosmetically and psychologically this is superior and uh, various results, various, uh, there are many of the randomized trials which have shown that the breast conservation surgery is not inferior to total breast removal. So whenever feasible uh, we offer the breast conservation surgery because the patients also tend to feel well because of the, uh, the cosmetic factor, the psychological factor is better and uh, the recurrence rates are similar in whether you remove the breast whole of the breast or the lump with the breast followed by radiation. The only thing the patient should also remember is that breast conservation means that we will have to give radiation followed by the surgery. So chemotherapy will not determine, will not be decided upon what surgery is done, but it's mainly because by the tumor factors, what is the stage, what are the uh, factors, which is hormonal factors, the, which are there, the ERPR and heart tenure will decide the chemotherapy. Now, once the surgery is done, depending on the report, what we get, we offer uh, adjoint chemotherapy or radiation, depending on the uh, reports. So the 
report the post completion of the treatment each patient is uh, evaluated every three monthly and uh, the uh, regular checkup is done and uh, we offer here every three monthly checkup for uh, two years followed by six monthly checkup for five years and yearly thereafter this is very essential because of the fact that uh, the uh, there is no 100% cure uh, guarantee or where there is no 100% cure chances for a breast cancer. Even in earlier stages, there is 5 to 10% chance that cancer may come back. So we have to detect early so that we can offer a treatment choice in those patients. So completion of treatment is not the end of the treatment. Each patient have to regularly check up, uh, come to for regular checkup in uh, these patients. So once there is a uh, completion of the treatment, we, patient will also be evaluated for whether they have a genetic component. Whenever we see that there is a, a significant family history or a triple negative disease or a disease which has come at very early stage, very early age, like uh, we have been treated at least four, four patients who are less than 30 years age in the last month only. So in those patients, we offer them a genetic counseling and the genetic checkup is done. If the patient has a genetic factor, which is uh, either a BRCA1, BRCA2 or a P53 gene mutation, the treatment can be tailored accordingly and there will be further screening of the uh, family members, close relatives which, which are there, who are there with the patient. So the treatment is not only of the patient himself, but also considering the whole familial factors and the psychological factors is included. So the important factor that we are uh, telling now uh, with all the patients and all the attenders is that detection, early detection is the best chance for cure. So the offering the cure uh, will be decided upon by what is the stage of the disease. Uh, so all the, all the f uh, females who have a lump in the breast uh, regardless of the age should be counseled, should be checked upon by an oncologist to ensure that it is not missed upon in the early stages. Thank you.